going on over here? Huh? I'm practicing my artwork. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's uh, that's that's yeah. No, I support art. Yeah, I, I I, I want to be in the museum. I, I want to be in the gallery. Well, hi, I'm Angela Green, curator of the museum. Welcome to Garrett Museum of Art. So, what brings you in today? I'm practicing my artwork because I want to be in the gallery. Beautiful. I'm the curator, which means that I choose a lot of the artists and the artwork that you see all around you in the museum. And there's quite a process to that. You have to do a submission process. And oh, yeah. I would. I don't know about you, Zach, but I think it would be really cool to hear sort of what it's like. Museum of Art has been here as an art museum for about 13 years and the bank built a new building on the corner behind us and at that time one of the local art teachers, high school art teachers in Garrett said I would like to um, suggest that we use this building for an art museum. So I curate the art which means that I pick the artists for each exhibition that we have um, I choose them from either people that I personally know that are artists because I have a lot of art connections in the Fort Wayne community or I have heard from other artists or sometimes artists will just walk in and maybe bring a sample of their work and say would you be interested um, in having me for a show. So it's a combination of all those things plus I like to curate by picking uh, varied forms of art. Our show previous to this one was glass art. So we had a lot of glass plates on the wall and glass flowers on the wall and glass vases on the pedestals. So we have anything from that to 2D art. So 2D is what you see hanging on walls. 3D are things that are sitting on pedestals. Or they might sit on the floor. So three-dimensional, obviously 3D is three-dimensional. It's, it's a process unique to every curator. Um, and I guess one of the important things is that you don't just get to choose the art because you like it or not choose it because you dislike it. Um, so we all have our personal preferences and so being a curator means sometimes I have to um, be very objective and say, okay, I might not, this might not be my taste in art um, but there are people that are going to come in and want to see that and plus we all need to expand um, and our horizons and see all types of art. Um, I look at form, I look at function and I look at focus, um, how the um, how well the composition is put together. Could you explain a little bit about what you mean when you say that you look at things like form and function and focus? I will try to explain it, but let's say in the monkey picture. Somehow if the monkey's face was not, was clear off center, or then that wouldn't be exactly the focal point. We know we want to look at that monkey's face. So, so I look at the whole composition and say, is the, is the monkey's face in the right place? So that's one thing, and it might not be exactly in this order. Um, I look at the color combinations that they used. Um, I look at, you know, how realistic really are these monkeys' paws? Um, and sometimes they're not, but maybe it's because it's the type of art that they don't have to be. They don't have to look realistic. But if it was a person, I might want the fingers to really be well defined and well drawn and see the skin and the wrinkles and the nails. Um, so it depends on, on what the type of composition is. Um, so I look at all those things. I look to see that, um, does that fit the space that they painted on? Does it, did it, does it fit that well? Did they, is there too much in the painting? Is there not enough in there? Um, so it's, it's kind of a nebulous process that's a little hard to explain, but um, that's the basics. That's the basics of it. So what's your favorite part of being a curator? I think one of my favorite parts is actually the installation process. Um, putting, placing the things where they go and then figuring out, am I going to put that 
is that going to be a clear glass piece there or do I need a bright red piece? And then drawing from that and doing the filler pieces, if I don't have a 3D artist in, in a show, um, and being able to make the whole thing gel together. That's one of my favorites. The second one is all the relationships that I have with artists. I mean, they become like friends and I feel like I could call all of them and talk to them about anything, anytime. Um, show or no show coming up. Um, the, the relationships are just important and the networking. Why do you think art is such a valuable aspect to the community? I mean, you've been here for 13 years, you're still going strong. What about art do you think makes what the Garrett Museum of Art does sort of a vibrant and valuable part of DeKalb County? I think that people look forward to our openings of new shows. Some people come several times to a show. They'll come several weekends in a row, like maybe when it's not as crowded so they can look at everything at their leisure. Um, I think it's just a matter of they want to be exposed to an art museum and maybe this isn't as an intimidating as a larger art museum like the Chicago Institute of Art or the Metropolitan or even the Fort Wayne Museum of Art which are all wonderful institutions but a smaller scale like this I think brings people in so they can get a little bit of a comfort level with a with an art museum. And I think it's a community, the people that we have that come in, a lot of them are the same. Our members come in a lot. Um, it's, it's a nice social aspect to it. They can catch up on what's going on in Garrett or in DeKalb County, and they can meet new artists, and they can broaden their horizons. And they all like to learn, no matter what age. Well, thank you so much, Angela, for showing us around and talking about what a curator is, and everything that goes into that and into making the Garrett Museum of Art a really, really central part of your community. You're welcome. I enjoyed doing it. We had a blast, didn't we, Zach? Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. A lot of stuff that I've never conceived of seeing before. Exactly. And I even got my drawing finished, so you have a new piece for your gallery. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure, she'll take it under consideration, Emma. That is, that is all. I'll be curating this soon, Emma. <laughs>